what are humans capable of? Topic inspired by Jocko Podcast number 182. I believe the soldier's name is Tilt. I believe most of his missions are preferred to operate in a six-man team in Vietnam. Um, incredible stories, but uh, Jocko. Uh, he just made the statement of um, something like uh, that... Uh, Tilt is an example of what uh, humans are capable of, of doing, making happen. And I'm also going to make this topic video called something like, uh, are using this moment effectively? But uh, as I heard that uh, that comment, I said, "Yeah, that's probably a better, a better phrasing of it." Because lately, um, <laughs> I've been uh, having a larger amount of uh, headaches lately. I think uh, I think I think that's what people don't want to talk about. Uh, I noticed that I had noticed that on Facebook, uh, everyone in, in the universe, everyone in the world was a lot happier than me. Um, they were smiling more, more selfies, uh, family pictures, um, proud parents having amazing parents, um, a proper job, a fulfilling job, um, fulfilling their potential, um, perfect temperature, and uh, not a struggle in the world. And then, uh, I think of this one clown who uh, she takes a, a ton of selfies, man. And before you know it, she's breaking down, complaining about everything and anything that's not uh, attached to her body. And I'm thinking in my life design, my journey of life so far, how I've gotten to this point and how I could have reached higher points, a higher point, or even crossed uh, certain finish lines with more people. And, and, and I knew people that wanted to cross the finish line with me and do this and or this field, this subject, or this life event. And uh, people that uh, I thought were gonna get it done. 
and uh, and they didn't also in some cases the last person standing and, and me I'll, I'll say that I do accept I'm nothing incredible and I think that as David Goggins would say that um, people will say that you're talented that you're amazing because that will enable their excuse yeah that's right i can't do this i can't do that i haven't done this i, I don't have that because i am not special as strong as tall as whatever i don't have that silver spoon that, that opportunity that shot as joe schmuckatelli as that person so therefore racism sexism transgenderism lgbtq eiao hate crime Watching this uh, this video on Franklin's Franklin or Franklin's barbecue in, in Austin, Texas. And this dude uh, prepares his meal for the next day. His his menu, his food, his ammo, his supplies for the next day, twenty four hours in advance. It's just a cooking process, not just ordering the stuff, but maintaining it or uh, um, overhead, but you know, cooks are 24 hours in advance. And I saw even on his YouTube channel how he cuts it. From twenty nineteen to twenty two bucks a pound. Some people may think that's expensive, but man, even even now, uh, me think thinking that being a baller on the budget, I'm like no, that's a fair price. Twenty four hours in advance, you cook it, you clean it, you order it, you season it, you have all the gear. Yep, you deserve it. Your experience, your knowledge, your your failures, your experimentation. Yeah, you deserve that. Nineteen, twenty-two bucks an hour. And the beautiful part is that I believe he said that uh, he bought a little RV thing, like me. Coach, motorhome for 300 bucks on Craigslist. He admits he didn't, he was ignorant, didn't know much about what he was doing. And um, eventually figured out uh, his formula and bada bing, bada boom, he's there, man. And uh, he sells out. Sells out, man. Good for him, man. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I remember people would think, well, look, he's making so much money. He shouldn't like, have a one, one day a meal for the poor and the homeless. It's like he already has enough money. And I think of this stuff because, I, yes, I do want to think of a customer. Yes, I do want to think as a business owner. But I also want to think of um, um, think 
from an observer or someone with faith that if he can do it, I can do it. If he could become successful, I could become successful. Why not? Yeah, man. Again, I I would like to be Mr. Positivity. Hit like and subscribe and share this with your friends. I, I would like to do that. But, you know, that's not me. You know, you know people, I think some people would think, um, why didn't they choose uh, the blue pill? The, um, The um, the uh, oh my God. the life choice of um having AC um that was wrong AC a steady paycheck the girlfriend the girlfriends the gated community the uh, um nice neighborhood. The sheltered, cushioned, um, pretty locked environment, which, which also would have been very limiting, because, uh, you know, when I walked away from very comfortable situations, I did think, "Fuck, man, let me do another day. If there's one more week here before I jump off the edge." Yeah, all right, cool. Let's do this. And then, um, pursue a, uh, <laughs> um, shit, a, a path without, uh, without any, more without a map. But with a compass or um, my visual of going higher, going forward, and uh, taking up every obstacle or challenge as it comes. But, yeah, you know, there's a part of my life where I'm thinking right now. Actually, I have two, actually three chances. Of um, of having taken it easy, I could have um, I could have taken a path um, much, much, much more. What's the word? Luscious, comfortable, cozy, friendly. Overall, sum it up with pleasant. But uh, very, very likely, very, very likely, I wouldn't have um, have grown as much. Yeah, I do believe that that there's growth, there's there's major growth in pain, and discomfort, and testing, and new barriers, and new areas. And. Um, Making shit happen, man. No, I ruined it. Gotta make it happen. Oh my goodness. Praise be to our night worked out. Another sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. Clean it 
now that I let it come off later. But yeah, I'm, I'm reflecting on that, and you know, there are moments that I think, man, you know what, I could um, take it easy, or, or I could just wonder, man, I, I, I'm pretty sure, but I can imagine myself in a, with a, a big booty chick, with a kid, on one of my two days off per week, thinking, oh, look, I got um, 10, 12 vacation days off saved up and have enough money for this rent, this month, and next month's rent covered, and we could go over here. Not over there where we want to, but over here because, you know, we got the coupons, the the wago and uh, what's the other app? We rent the houses the Airbnb and um, and this, this is what we could afford and uh, there'd be a great comfort there and uh, what kind of person would I be if my son, daughter or, or baby tranny would look up in my eyes and say Daddy, Papa, what's on your mind? I see you um, staring into the fireplace out the window um, while in traffic. You're looking ahead and, you know, um, you know where we're going. You're, you're looking for something. And I'll say, I'm not little, Timmy, little. Tabitha, little tranny. Um, you'll understand when you get older. And they think, man, what a, what is that? Hiding, um, hiding yourself. Lying. By letting your, the next generation, your little one, um, fall into the same pile of dog shit that uh, you have uh, not only covered yourself with, pretty much camouflaged yourself with. I think that's better, you know, not just stepped on, but camouflage yourself with it because I, I think um, I like staring at people that uh, get lost. They'll uh, be at a cash register by a shelf or standing somewhere and then they're looking into the dimension of what if let's play another topic the what if dimension don't go there homie I'm gonna make a note on that If we remember the what if dimension. And uh, and I just think, yeah, you know, I could have um, taken it easier than this or that. think of all these uh, again it's especially dudes and especially these so called men that uh, that really uh, make me wonder about that word men masculinity bravery honest strength truth
I think I think me I've been distracted a lot, uh, especially lately. And I was thinking, you know, what this, this moron or these morons or that fucking idiot or that dumb cunt is, is doing. <clears throat> they then they are trying to drag him to hell with them. Yeah, I don't believe hell is, exists in the afterlife. Hell is right here because here is. Uh, I think hell is after the moment of opportunity. Envy, jealousy. I think it was a Marcus Lemoris. Bill Duke. I think it was Bill Duke. It said something like, um, you know, there are people out there that want to see you fail. And then there are great people out there who want to see you become great. And, uh, I'm getting warm and fuzzy because although I haven't made contact in a while, I do think of some of the, um, I don't know what word to use, mentors or, or heroes that I've met, people that easily could have chosen an easy path in life, a dark or easy or darker or nasty, undisciplined way of life, or quit and chose not to. Whereas other people who were like, oh man, people who I am. I've seen women, I've seen old women, grand, a grandmother's age, selling, um, um, being saleswomen on foot in summer on the streets of Los Angeles and, uh, and, and making it happen. I mean, I'm thinking, yeah, man, that's, uh, yeah, that's not my thing, man, right? I'm, nah, I'm good, props. Not, uh, makes me sicker to this. There's nothing wrong with that, without having that sort of job. But it's sort of like a garbage man or or a plumber. Yeah, you can have that job. Well, they, they want to protest and unionize. They want 40 or 50 an hour or more. I'll pay them. Pay them. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay the extra. Yeah, you know, because I, I don't want to deal with shit. I don't want to deal with... Uh, broken sewer lines, um, replacing an old shitter, a urinal, um, working with waste that has um, blood, vomit, 
tuberculosis, AIDS, Ebola, bad shit. Yeah, pay the, I'll pay the difference here. If you don't want to, or you can go ahead and fucking uh, go pick that shit up yourself, not me. Yeah. The risk, uh, the risk, or now yeah, fuck that. Risk of exposure to shit. Now I'm good. You can have that. That's it for now, motherfuckers. Get after it. Go forward. No excuses.